If you like the tie dye effect but you're more comfortable with sewing machine than you are with fabric dyes, you're going to love the technique I'm about to show you. This fabric manipulation technique is called slashing and it's one of the most visually satisfying techniques I've ever tried. The creative possibilities of this technique are endless and you can use it on both woven and knit fabrics. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a tie dye effect on t-shirt. Fabric slashing is incredibly easy to make and this is exactly how to do it. I'm going to apply this technique on t-shirt that I'm currently sewing from scratch using my self-drafted pattern and I left the sides open so that I have better access. Now I'm going to turn t-shirt inside out and apply several layers of similar weight knit fabrics. You can use as many layers of fabric as you want but I would recommend the minimum of three layers and keep in mind that the more layers the more the front of the t-shirt will be weighted down. For layering you don't need a big piece of fabric but the key here is to use different color fabrics so this is the perfect technique for fabric scraps. After all layers are put together I'm going to base stitch around the perimeter so that on the right side of the garment I can see where my layers are positioned. I also added a cross base stitch in the center just to keep the layers from shifting while I'm sewing and marking. In this step while we sandwich all the fabric layers you want everything to lay very nicely flat so make sure to do this technique either on a table or the floor anywhere you want as long as it's a flat surface and you can position your fabric completely flat. On the right side of the t-shirt I'm going to mark the middle line which will help me position drawing more accurately. From a thicker paper I drew a circle which is a bit smaller than my fabric layers. I positioned the circle to go right in the middle of the t-shirt and drew a around using a chalk. From the same template I cut a smaller circle and drew around that too. And then I make one more small circle. Once the circles are drawn it's time to go to our sewing machine and start sewing using a straight stitch all around those circled lines. My t-shirts are a bit relaxed fit so I'm going to use a standard straight stitch and a standard sewing thread. However if you want more elasticity if you are creating a more fitted design try using a standard straight stitch and pair it with elastic sewing thread so that you create an elastic straight stitch. After first seams are sewn we are going to go ahead and trim around the layers from the inside of the garment as we won't need those corners. The next step is to mark other lines that we need to sew and this will largely depend on the design that you want to create. I'm marking a few lines to go through the center of the circles and then I'm drawing a few extra lines at the top. In the tie-dye method there's a lot of geometry and play on geometry so I'm trying to keep that in my design as well. Now on my sewing machine I'm going to sew along those straight lines we just drew. Here you don't want to start and finish the seam with the back stitches because it will create a very noticeable beginning and end of the seam. Instead leave long thread tails at the beginning and end of the seam, bring those thread tails to the garment inside and tie knots or if your sewing machine has a special stitch that begins and ends seam by making a few stitches at the same spot and tying knots this is a moment you want to sew using that stitch. After all the lines are sewn this is how our garment looks now. And now let's go on to the most tricky part which is slashing. In this step you want to be using very sharp small scissors so that you can easily cut through multiple layers of knit fabric. When slashing just make sure you're not accidentally cutting through the bottom layer as you want to leave it uncut. In this step when I'm cutting through my fabric when I'm slashing I'm positioning my hand underneath the fabric and I'm kind of feeling the bottom of the scissors so just making sure that I'm not cutting through that bottom layer. Depending on your design cut either in the middle between two seams or close to one of the seams but just make sure to not cut through any seams you sewn as it will start to fall apart. 
after cutting through all of the lines you need, your design is slowly starting to reveal itself. The final step is going to fold and sew the design, which we're going to do on a sewing machine. The layers will be folded into different directions, creating a different design. On my sewing machine, I'm starting at the center, and here I'm folding cuts towards the seam and sewing right through the middle. Then I'll fold another cut to the opposite direction and sew again. Notice that my presser foot raises after every stop and if your sewing machine has this function, it will be very handy in this project. In this part of the design, I'm sewing in the circle, folding each cut before sewing. In the next row of the design, I'm going to fold each cut upwards and sew each individually with a short seam. I'm going to do that until every cut in this row is finished. In the third row of the design, I'm going to fold all cuts to one side and sew them all in the middle. My seam is going right through the center of each fold, but if you want to create different effects, you can sew folds in different parts, not only the center. In this step, really take time to admire the design and enjoy the process, because this is hands down the most satisfying part of the process. The design is starting to gain shape and starting to reveal itself and our efforts are finally paying off. So really stop as many times as you want to admire your creation and just soak in this beautiful, beautiful design. After all folds are sewn, this is how this effect looks finished. This is absolutely gorgeous technique that you can add onto any project and give your garment that wow effect. Fabric slashing is very easy and simple technique that will help you unlock the next level of creativity. On my t-shirt, I also added a rounded color with twill tape back neckline finish. I also matched serger seams for a more professional look and I hemmed using twin needle. These are the sewing techniques that I share in my new t-shirt pattern making and sewing course where I teach everything about sewing t-shirt. If you want to start making your own t-shirt, this might be a great place to start. But I have to warn you, once you start making your own t-shirt that are created using pattern that was made based on your body measurements, using the fit that you like, using the necklines that you like, using the fabrics that you enjoy wearing, it's really going to be very difficult to go back to buying t-shirt in store. If this doesn't scare you, I will link the t-shirt pattern making and sewing course in the description box down below. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you love this stunning technique as much as I did. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!